Hello and welcome to the Auto Car Show. Now, Honda has been a brand that's seen a lot of success in the Indian market and ever since they set foot here, all their products seem to be lapped up by the Indian consumers. But in the last year or so, no diesel engine, and no new products has seen them really looking at the bottom of the barrel. Well, they made a few adjustments, a few price changes, and that did see them gain some ground, but not enough. Well, they've learned a few lessons along the way, and they've learned that pricing is really a key factor in the Indian market. And of course, if you want to be in India, you have to be Indian. Well, they think they have the answer in the little oven fresh brio that's been built for the Indian market. Now, what we want to find out is when Honda built to a cost, can they really give us a car that has all the essence of Honda, all the DNA that we are so used to seeing from their cars? Well, I'm going to take a test drive and find out. The Brio is futuristic and will definitely catch your eye in a parking lot. Small and compact in its dimension, but still packs in aggressiveness. There's a crease that extends right round from the side to the bumper, and there are folds in the bonnet that all give it a sporty look and draw you to the front of the car. It's finished off with the sporty Eda. Still, it's the interesting rear that really keeps making you turn around and look, with the triangular tail lamps and the massive glass tailgate. Well, when Honda engineers told me that you could fit three to four bags into this tailgate, I didn't want to believe them. But it is very cleverly engineered. The way they've carved out space, it's deep and it's got some room. So if you fit them in vertically, you can actually fit three to four bags in here, which is quite incredible in this compact size car. And as for this glass tailgate, if you feel it's a bit flimsy, well, think again. You can slam it shut and it feels as strong as any other. From the inside, this glass area really makes the Brio a very easy car to park. In fact, all the glass area gives you great visibility all around the car, making it feel very airy and a whole lot bigger. That's exactly what shocks you when you get in. You don't imagine it from the compact dimensions, but there's lots of space on the inside. Well, when they did consider making this car for India, they considered quite a few details of the typical Indian person. Like the door opening was considered so that a woman in a sari could get easily in and out. And I'm not in a sari, but I have to say I can get gracefully into this car. Now the front seat is set in the position of a person who's about five feet, eight inches for driving. And look at the amount of space I have here. It's quite incredible the way this car carves out space from everywhere. I've got enough leg room. There's a lot of width here at the back. And I call it the process of slenderization. Everything inside this car has been put on a diet. It starts with the slim back seats that are wafer thin and door pockets that are concave carving out more space. The dashboard's cut down too to a bare minimum. The front actually feels wider than the Swift. It's amazing how much space this car carves out from everywhere and despite all of that, it still packs in quite a few storage areas. On the inside, the tri-coloured dash may not really be to everyone's taste and for the Honda cars that we're so used to seeing, the dashboard feels a bit spartan. Equipment levels are not too generous and like the city, you get no CD player, just the radio and aux or USB ports. What's nice though is despite being designed to tight costs, it really doesn't feel like it. Quality feels top-notch. The steering wheel is really nice, thick and sporty and you get steering controls too. The upmarket instrument panel and chrome rings around the high-quality rotary vents all make it feel like a car of a class above. The switch gear also feels incredibly good. Still, some of the telltale signs of cost-cutting are there. There's no height adjust for the driver's seat, no rear parcel tray and old-fashioned rear power window switches. On the safety front, the airbags, especially the driver's seat one, are a little intelligent. They are made in a spiral form to deploy gradually so you get less of a punch in the face when they come out. Now this has the same 1.2 litre engine as the Jazz but it feels really nice in this car because this is a light little car, performance is great. In fact, it's the strongest, fastest performer in its category and it's apparent from the time you put your foot down on this pedal.
there's a noticeable spike in the power around 4000 rpm and the little engine snarls all the way to the 6500 rpm mark. It's the only car in its class to have an under 13 seconds 0 to 100. So, Honda have managed to retain the DNA of fun to drive engines. Despite the VVT, the Brio just doesn't like to be whipped, you know, it likes to be treated a little gently. Doesn't like you to put your foot flat on the throttle, if you do so, it takes a little while to react. But, path throttle it and it's so easy for overtaking, it's easy in the city, it's easy on the highway, it's a fun engine to drive. Treat it gently and you can have loads of fun with it. Like most Honda engines, this one is quite refined too. You do hear it when you rev hard and that's more because of the lack of insulation in the engine bay. Now that's all about power and punch, but for those who are environment conscious, there's a little green light that comes on when you drive in the economical manner to tell you that you're driving really safely. And it's actually quite fun trying to get this green light on when you're in traffic to see how economical a driver you can be. So the little Brio is sensible but it's fun to drive and that's reflected in the way it handles too. Now like a lot of other cars, the Brio has gone the electric power steering way but I have to say that this is a really nice electric power steering. It's light and easy to use when you're in the city traffic and yet it weighs up quite nicely when you want to do a bit more of hard cornering. chuck this little car around and have fun with it but I have to say it's not as controlled or as accurate as the new Swift. The ride quality is a pleasant surprise. It's quiet in the back seat, you don't hear the suspension and it trundles over bad patches really without any fuss. There is a bit of vertical movement that you will feel when you're going at higher speeds over undulations so it's not entirely a flat ride. But the back seat is a comfortable place to be with good ride quality and lots of space. Well, when I sum up the Brio, the words that come to my mind are never judge a book by its cover. Don't be fooled by the compact dimensions of this car. It's quite grown up and quite spacious on the inside. Well, you've got space, you've got comfort, you've got a fun to drive engine, it looks good and you have the peace of mind of the brand Honda behind it. Well, Honda had promised that they were going to price this under 5 lakhs. We think it's going to be really competitive. Just a shade over 4 lakhs is where it will start. That not only makes this a good car, but it also makes it value for money. We think it's going to be a great buy.